Hi, Native Bee Guy. Thanks for visiting and coming back. We're going to cover a lot of information today, so grab a pen and paper. Also, hit subscribe so you'll remember where you saw this video and you come back and watch it. We're going to go over uh, keeping your hives healthy and going to cover the Varroa mite, Varroa destructor, and also the tracheal mite, hive beetle, and wax moth control. So all of those in one and I'll show you how I do it. Um, also I will attach uh, a report um, of uh, some people that did a study on it and it was a controlled study with Fogger. So they had control hives and they use with and without using a Fogger. So hopefully it'll help you. Um, so let's get started. I get my um, equipment from uh, Kelly and um, you can go online. Uh, it was Walter T. Kelly, and now they uh, believe they just shortened it to Kelly B. Company, Kelly Products. And um, I really like their bottom boards. It has a screen bottom board that can come out. It has a bottom board that you can slide in and out to check mites and uh, maybe keep the breeze or the cool air out or in the winter time and then it's got a great little uh, landing board in the front so first of all on the bottom board um, usually and this one's i've used and we'll take a look at it in a minute but i'll uh, have a nice clean bottom board i'll take uh, crisco and um, I have a little, um, you know, paper towel in there and you put Crisco oil on that bottom board. That keeps the mites from crawling away. They get stuck in that bottom board and you can do a mite count. So before I fog them and I'll go over the fogger just a little bit, but I'll probably have to make another video on it because we won't have time today. But um, I put the bottom board in. If you can get it in and slide that in there. Okay, and then um, your boxes are on top and I fog through the top entrance, okay? So um, that, once you fog, then the mites fall down on that bottom board. I'll show you what to look for. Uh, usually I treat in the spring heavily and in the fall right now, like this is, uh, you know, started September, this is the first of October. And then I'll, uh, we'll take a look and see what the mites look like. And I'll give you a few more tips and tools and supplies. Uh, best thing you could do is you can go to my website. I'll put a link on here. Plus there's a note in this video you can click on. Um, I went ahead and pulled all the tools together and just put them in a little store. Um, it's, it's Amazon and um, you can go on there, click on that and everything you need right there. Also, I use a, um, a lighted headset. Uh, you can use it to look at the mites and for queen grafting. So when it's under 20 bucks and it is great, we'll use it here in just a minute, but you get the headset comes with batteries, four magnifying glasses, and it's adjustable and it's lighted. Uh, just in case you don't already have your tools, uh, get a um, th get this tool right here. It's a, a frame holder, and you reach in, grab your frames. It's awesome. Uh, I st when I started out, I didn't have one, and now I use it all the time. Of course, a frame tool. Get a brush, and uh, this is for hive beetle control. Uh, it's a beetle blaster, and um, I'll see if I can't put that in the store also. But And then I have a little magnifying glass and some essential oils. So I use wintergreen and thyme or tea tree oil. Um, right now I'm treating with wintergreen and thyme oil. Um, and then, of course, the mineral oil you put in the fogger. So put that mineral in the fogger. Uh, I use, like I said, wintergreen and thyme in the fogger, and then I fog the bees. So uh, there's another video, I'll try to link it, where I fog them. It's really easy. Um, however, I would caution you, there are some, uh, some dangers to it. Um, that oil can catch on fire, so you want to be careful. Um, I haven't had any problems. I've used it several times. It works great, okay? So... Uh, We've fogged, and you can look at a, another one of my videos on fogging. And then once you fog um, with this in, I leave it in overnight, and then you pull your board out, 
and um, get your headset out and I'll try to show you what the mites look like. When I first treated uh, this board from when I treated a couple weeks ago, maybe three weeks ago, had a lot of mites, okay? And then uh, two weeks ago had fewer mites and then this last treatment, I didn't have many mites at all. So uh, the headset is really easy to use and I'll set it up here real quick. So once you pull the headset out, like I said, it's got a light on it. Uh, you just clip this uh, magnifying glass in there and then you can use it if your eyes, my eyes are uh, not the best, but you can use this and um, you know, you can look for mites. They're just little round brown mites and usually you shouldn't see but a few. Um, this board, I mean, there, there would be several, I'm talking six or eight in a two or three square inch area. And, uh, you can, I don't know if you can see them or not, but they're just little small brown, uh, mites. And, uh, there's a good one right there. Um, so look for those, uh, like I said, get a magnifying glass or, you know, get this headset. You can use it if you want to try queen grafting. Um, and it's uh, pretty simple, easy to use. And uh, it's lighted. Like I said, it's got four of the, um, the lenses in there. And then also uh, just a regular uh, magnifying glass. The, the oil, I go to Loran Oil, signed up as a wholesaler, got the oil, got the the um, eye droppers. My wife likes to use the oil. I bought some different oils and um, you know we use them around the house to uh, freshen up the house. So uh, that is a quick video on mic control that the fogger's really been working good for me. Also if you read the studies it uh, bees also get tracheal mites kind of in their throat so to speak and uh, super tiny, you can't see those, but that oil actually helps those too, helps the mites, um, those mites fall off, and then hive beetles do not like that wintergreen uh, smell. So also you can use that and make your own um, um, sugar water with uh, wintergreen thyme or tea tree oil in it, and uh, we don't have time to go with that today either, but, um, you can do that to feed your bees and it helps with bee health and helps fight those mites. Now last, I told you I was gonna, I'm gonna give you one like added bonus. Uh, I was at the Florida State Beekeepers Association and they were telling us uh, about wax moth control, how to stack your boxes. You'll notice these boxes are all stacked. Uh, every other box is turned. I had mine all stacked up nice and neat in a nice little row. And when I came back, I had to, to tear them down. And then also there's some wax here. I'll do a video cut in of a, uh, a box that I put in and I forgot to put in two frames and the bees hung their own, hung their own wax. So I'll cut that video in at the end of, the, of this if I have it. Um, if not, you know, it's, uh, I, I left frames out and they built, they built their own wax hanging down. So it's pretty cool. So. Don't stack your boxes up all nice and neat. If you do, uh, it, it you'll get wax moths. Here's a, a frame that uh, got wax moths on it. And uh, as you can see, they left a bunch of little uh, presents behind. So uh, don't put your boxes stack all up. Those wax moths, it, uh, the light uh, keeps them from uh, uh, growing as much. They don't like the light. So that is it today uh, in the bee lab on mic control and hive health and this is a native bee guy live long live strong eat honey thanks for visiting subscribe and we'll see you again on the next one